Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about APR and APY, what they stand for, what the difference is, and giving you some real world examples of where they can come up, and doing some calculations on understanding the power of compounding interest. So with that, I'll start right here. First we've got APR, which stands for Annual Percent Rate, and APY, which stands for Annual Percent Yield. And let's say we've got an annual percent rate of 10%. So we take out a loan or we deposit some stable coins, which is giving 10% per year. And it has an APR of 10%. So we start with $1,000 and we times that by 10%. We get $100 of interest. So we get a total of $1,100. Now let's take that same 10%, but we compound it monthly and that new rate is actually 10.4713% instead of just flat 10%. So we still take the same $1,000, we times it by the compounding rate, and then we get $104.71 of interest, which gives a total of $1,104.71, so a difference of about $4. And if you wanted the formula for this to work it out for yourself, hop on over to my Discord server, and I'll provide this sheet for you anytime. Or if you want to do it yourself right now, the formula is 1 plus the rate, so 0.1 is the same as 10%, and then you divide it by the amount of times you're compounding it, so it's compounded monthly over a year, and there's 12 months in a year, so divided by 12, and then to the power of the frequency again, so 12 months again, and then minus 1, and then that'll give you the annual percent yield instead of the annual percent rate. Now for a real world example, we can see that the good old scummy banks only tell you that they've got an interest rate, but it doesn't specify if it's the APR or APY. But since all banks compound your balance monthly, they'll usually just say interest rate, which means PA, aka per annum, aka per year. And on the compound finance site, you can see it specifies it's APY. So all these percents here, this is the compounding rate you'd be getting, not just simple interest. And over to Aave now, you can see the top percent, the 4.15%, that's actually the APY, so the compounding rate. And just below that, the 5.54%, that's actually the APR, since this rate isn't compounding, as it's the bonus you get for using Aave on the Polygon network. And over to my favorite, Beefy Finance, I'll be going to the Polygon chain. And let's say I wanted to find out the compounding rate of the Ether Vault. So as we can see, it's APY as well, so 11.53. But I want to know how often this compounds. So I'll go up to the top, go Stats, and I'll find the address where the Vault is. Here we go, ETH. I'll click on this one. I'll go Contract. I'll go Read Contract. Scroll down until I can find Strategy. Here we are, I'll open up this address. And as we can see, this is auto compounding about every five minutes, and that five minute number will come in later. So now back to the trusty Excel sheet. We can see if we start with an initial investment of $1,000, and we've got an APR, so not the compounding rate, just the regular rate of 100% per year. After one year of not compounding, of just regular simple interest, we'd have $1,000 in rewards, so adding that back to our initial investment, we'd have $2,000. And let's say we use the power of compounding. So that 100% actually turns into 161% as it's compounded every 12 months. So we get $1,613 in rewards, giving us a new balance of $2,613. And if we were to compound weekly, it would be 169%. Nice. Daily would be 171, hourly would be 171.8, every minute would be 171.82, and back to the beefy finance example, which was every 5 minutes, and if we were to compound our balance every 5 minutes for a whole year, that would be done 105,120 times per year, so we'd have a rate of 171.8269%, which gives us $1,718.27 as a reward giving us a new balance of $2,718.27 from a starting investment of $1,000 and compounding every five minutes. Now, just for a more visual example, we can see the regular APR percent rate right here, 10% exactly. And if we were to spread that out monthly, we'd be getting about 0.8333% every month. But if we were getting 10% compounded every month, 
it would actually be 0.8726% per month and I'm sure any sane person would take a higher interest rate over the smaller rate. And now to compare simple interest and compound interest, we can see with an initial investment of just $10,000 against 10% over a certain period of time, we'd get $1,000 as a reward and that equates to about $83.33 per month. But you'll notice it's always going to be $83.33 per month. That's because the interest amount is not added back onto the starting amount. But coming over to the compound interest rate, we can see we've still got $10,000, but at a rate of 10% compounded every 12 months. That's why this number is higher. And we get a total of $1,047.13. So you can see we still get $83 in the first month, but that interest gets added on to our balance next month and then that's compounded again and we get $84 and it slowly increases and increases until we've got almost a percent more until we've got an even higher balance compared to just simple interest. And we can see down here just using the simple rate of 10% with $10,000 that only gets the $1,000 in reward and compounding every month over a year we'd actually get $1,047.13 giving us a difference of $47.13, which is 0.47131%, or rounding it up, you're basically missing half a percent per year if you're not compounding your balance. And now taking a look at a more extensive and visual example, we can see we've got the same 10%, same $10,000, with interest gained every week but not compounding, compared to compounding weekly, meaning the interest is added on to the new balance, and the interest slowly climbs higher. So as we can see by this lovely graph here, it may not seem big at the start, but over time, this gap becomes wider, the orange line being compound interest and the blue line being simple interest. The longer and more frequently you compound your interest, the more valuable it'll become over time. If you liked that video, consider leaving a like. If you wanna have a chat, why not join my Discord server below. Okay, thanks, bye.